Today we're going to talk about a mobile phone designed specifically for the visually impaired. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So, today I am proud to introduce you to Blind Shell. This is a mobile phone designed specifically for the visually impaired. Now that being said, I think this would be a fantastic phone for a lot of people. Not only the visually impaired, but maybe somebody that just needs a little extra large print or an easy to use phone that's gonna be reliable. This would be a great option for them. So this video isn't super long. I'm going to just show you some of the highlights of the phone. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll talk about availability and some exciting things coming to the future of Blind Shell. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the phone and talk about what it can do. So the first thing you notice about the Blind Shell phone is the design. It's kind of a throwback to the 90s style candy bar shape phone with the full physical keypad buttons here, directional buttons, answer call and hang up call buttons along with some menu buttons. And that's all on purpose. As I said, this was designed to be a great phone for visually impaired and also less tech savvy consumers. And so having physical buttons, very tactile, you don't need to look at the phone in order to control the phone completely. And that works really, really well. They offer two colors currently. There is a black with black buttons and a red with black buttons. I really like the red, so we're gonna stick with that one. So on the front of the device, as I said, you've got all the keypad buttons here. You have a large screen that takes up about half of the front of the phone. On the back, you have a single camera and this SOS button. That's a programmable button. You can program whatever number you want in there. You could even program emergency numbers. And it's just a really easy way to contact somebody in case of emergency. You've got this nice stylish metal band around the outside edge, and that's about it. No other buttons on the phone. All the controls, power, waking up the device, volume, all of that is controlled by the keypad buttons here on the front. It's a very comfortable size. Feels really good in the hand. This is my Galaxy S8 phone. This is not the large, this isn't the 8 Plus, this is just the 8. So you can see the size difference. So this, the blind shell phone is gonna slide into your pocket very easily and it's gonna be easy to use, light and comfortable. So we'll go ahead and wake up the phone and whenever you wake it up, you get some information, important information. Call one of nine, 11.36, March 23rd, 2019. So it tells you where you are in the menu, first of all, and then it gives you the time and date. That's great. Now one thing you'll notice right away is the large icons, high contrast icons and large text on the screen there. Once again, that's all purposeful. As I said, this phone was designed from top to bottom to be simple and easy to use for the visually impaired. Now something else that's really interesting is that this is all customizable. So if you don't like the white on black color theme we've got going on this one, you can actually change it. So here I have a black on yellow color theme going and they have several others. Another thing is you can customize what shows up on the screen. So like on this yellow one here, I've gotten rid of the icon and I just have text. You can also change the size of the text if you'd like. So they give you a lot of customizable options. So I'll go through this menu real quick just to give you guys an idea of what you have. Messages two of nine. Contacts three of nine. More applications four of nine. Settings five of nine. Information about state six of nine. Manual seven of nine. No missed events eight of nine. Turn off the phone nine of nine. Messages two of nine. So as you see, you've got full text messaging support. You even have email in here. There's a calendar. You can create events and agendas and check those. You can check your weather. It's a very fully featured phone. At any time here, I can tap on one of these number keys to jump to that corresponding item in the menu list. So if I hit number five, it's gonna take me right to the settings. Settings, five of nine. Just quick access there, quick shortcut. 
These numbers here are also speed dial numbers. So if I long press on any of those numbers, it's going to call that speed dial number. Quick and easy way to call all your favorite numbers. If I hit the hang up button, it goes back. If I long press the hang up button, it takes me all the way back to the first item in the main menu. And that works no matter where you are on the phone. It's like a quick shortcut all the way back to the beginning. If I long press on the call button here, number. jumps right into putting in a number. And one thing that you've probably already guessed is that everything talks on this phone. This phone is 100% vocalized. So even putting in a phone number here, it's going to read out the number as I enter it. I can go ahead and press the call button to make that phone call. I can press OK to make the phone call. If I messed up the number somehow, all I have to do is press the hang up button to delete the last number. Five, one. Say I messed up at the beginning, I can use the arrow keys to jump to the beginning and then delete that. If I want to delete everything, I just long press on the hang up button. Delete it. I can dial a contact here. Dial number two of four. We can of course dial a specific number. Call history. Even has blocked numbers, that's great. Call one of nine. So as I mentioned, all the cool features that it already has built in, such as the alarm, a timer, calendar, calculator. This even has internet radio and FM radio built in. But it also has some vision related features built in as well. So let's go check those out. Messages, contacts, more application, tools, one of four. Email, two, media, three, vision aids, four of four. Vision aids. Color indicator, one of three. So a color indicator, that will come in very handy. Localization, two of three. Localization, this will grab your GPS location and display it for you. Okay, so it just occurred to me that I probably should not put my location on the internet for the whole world to see. Uh, so, it's pretty accurate. It isn't exactly accurate, but it did give me a warning saying that for better accuracy, I should do this outside, which makes total sense. I'm inside of a house right now. But you have some more options. Precision, 10001 meter, two of four. Send message with position, three of four. This is nice, so I can send a text message with my position if I wanted to. That's great. Object tagging, three of three. And then finally we have object tagging. This is really cool. So in the box, Blindshell actually gives you guys some QR code stickers here. So with the object tagging, I can scan this QR code and create a custom voice label assigned to that QR code. So because it's a sticker, I can then label just about anything in my house that I would need to. Medication, spices, cleaning products, that's a really cool feature that they just throw in there included with the phone. Usually you have to pay extra for something like that. That's really cool. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is the camera. This is a pretty cool application, what they've done here. And it's so smart. I wish other phones would do this as well. So if I take a picture, so number one, it just clicks, letting me know that the camera is activated. If I take a picture of the QR codes, So I could save the image. View image two of two. I could view the image if I wanted to. Let's go back to save image. Save image one of two. Record a short description now. Photo of the QR code sticker. Image has been saved. So now if we go back. Camera five of six. Images six of six. We go into our images. Camera images one of two. Image one of two. There's my picture. and it plays the voice message I just recorded, letting me know what this picture is. That is great. Now I've got some options here. If I click on it, zoom in, one of five. I can zoom in on it. Share image, two of five. Share the image. Image information, three of five. That probably tells me the time and date and all that that I took it. Change recorded note, four of five. Or I could change the recording if I wanted to. Delete image, five of five. And get rid of it. That's fantastic. I love that camera application there. So just a fantastic phone, guys. And like I said, this is not even all the things that it can do. It's got Bluetooth, the GPS, 
there's a translator built into it, and they're constantly adding new features. In fact, just yesterday, I got an update for this phone that included some new features. So they're constantly updating it, improving it, and they're also constantly taking feedback from the community. Things that people would like to see in it, they're doing their best to add those. I've even talked to them about possibly adding in podcast support. I think that would be fantastic as well. It also has a book reader. Did I mention that? <laughs> okay, guys. So like I said, that was a quick look at just some of the features of the blind shell phone. Remember, you know, I didn't want to make this video too long, so I didn't touch on everything. It has a lot more to offer. And if you would like to learn more about the blind shell phone, definitely check out the website, blindshell.com. Of course, I'll have a link in the description down below. I am excited to announce that I am working with Blind Shell, helping them launch into the US market. I will also be creating some tutorial videos showing how to use the Blind Shell phone, diving deep into all the features. So definitely stay tuned for that. The phone will be officially launched in the US in about three months from the recording of this video. That'll be right around summer of 2019. If you would like to keep up to date with the progress, definitely check out the Blind Shell Facebook page. Go ahead and like it. All the updates will be posted on there. If you're an international viewer and you want to go ahead and get the phone now, definitely check out the website to get more information about that. When it launches here in the United States, you'll be able to order it through the website, but probably the easiest thing will be to contact the US distributors. Once again, stay tuned to Facebook to learn more about that. There will also be a list of US distributors on the website. So if you guys have any more questions about Blind Shell, first check out the website. You might find your answers there, or let me know in the comments down below if it's something I can help with, I'll be happy to do that. Or if you have any questions about anything, let me know down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. Do you know anybody that you think would love the Blind Shell phone? Anyone in your life? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm eager to learn that as well. But that is it for me, guys. As always, Sam with the Blind Life. We'll see you next time.